A barangay or barangay abbreviated as Burgi, or BGY, formerly referred to as Barrio, is the smallest administrative division in the Philippines and is the native Filipino term for a village, district or ward. In metropolitan areas, the term often refers to an inner city neighborhood, a suburb or a suburban neighborhood. The word barangay originated from balangay, a kind of boat used by a group of Austronesian peoples when they migrated to the Philippines. Municipalities and cities in the Philippines are subdivided into barangays, with the exception of the municipalities of Adams in Ilocos Norte and Calayan, Palawan, which each contain only one barangay. The barangay itself is sometimes informally subdivided into smaller areas called parak English zone. Barangay zones consisting of a cluster of houses, and sitios, which are territorial enclaves—usually rural—far from the barangay center. As of June 2015, there were 42,029 barangays throughout the Philippines. History When the first Spaniards arrived in the Philippines in the 16th century, they found well-organized independent villages called barangays. The name barangay originated from balangay, a Malay word meaning, sailboat. The first barangays started as relatively small communities of around 50 to 100 families. By the time of contact with Spaniards, many barangays have developed into large communities. The Encomienda of 1604 shows that many affluent and powerful coastal barangays in Sulu, Butuan, Panay, Leyte and Cebu, Pampanga, Pangasinan, Pasig, Laguna, and Cagayan River were flourishing trading centers. Some of these barangays had large populations. In Panay, some barangays had 20,000 inhabitants, in Leyte, Bebe, 15,000 inhabitants, in Cebu, 3,500 residents, in Vitus, Pampanga, 7,000 inhabitants, Pangasinan, 4,000 residents. There were smaller barangays with fewer number of people. But these were generally inland communities, or if they were coastal, they were not located in areas which were good for business pursuits. These smaller barangays had around 30 to 100 houses only, and the population varies from 100 to 500 persons. According to Legazpi, he founded communities with only 20 to 30 people. Traditionally, the original barangays were coastal settlements of the migration of these Malayo-Polynesian people who came to the archipelago from other places in Southeast Asia see chiefdom. Most of the ancient barangays were coastal or riverine in nature. This is because most of the people were relying on fishing for their supply of protein and for their livelihood. They also traveled mostly by water up and down rivers, and along the coasts. Trails always followed river systems, which were also a major source of water for bathing, washing, and drinking. The coastal barangays were more accessible to trade with foreigners. These were ideal places for economic activity to develop. Business with traders from other countries also meant contact with other cultures and civilizations, such as those of Japan, Han Chinese, Indian people, and Arab people. These coastal communities acquired more cosmopolitan cultures, with developed social structures sovereign principalities, ruled by established royalties and nobilities. During the Spanish rule, through a resettlement policy called the Reduccion, smaller scattered barangays were consolidated and thus reduced to form compact towns. Each barangay was headed by the Cabeza de Barangay barangay chief, who formed part of the Principalia, the elite ruling class of the municipalities of the Spanish Philippines. This position was inherited from the first datus, and came to be known as such during the Spanish regime. The Spanish monarch ruled each barangay through the Cabeza, who also collected taxes called tribute from the residents for the Spanish crown. When the Americans arrived, Slight changes in the structure of local government was effected. Later, rural councils with four councillors were created to assist, now renamed Barrio Lieutenant, it was later renamed Barrio Council, and then Barangay Council. The Spanish term Barrio Abbey v. Bo was used for much of the 20th century until 1974, when President Ferdinand Marcos ordered their renaming to Barangays. The name survived the 1986 EDSA revolution, though older people would still use the term barrio. The municipal council was abolished upon transfer of powers to the barangay system. Marcos used to call the barangay part of Philippine participatory democracy, and most of his writings involving the new society praised the role of barangayic democracy in nation-building. 
After the 1986 EDSA revolution and the drafting of the 1987 constitution, the municipal council was restored, making the barangay the smallest unit of Philippine government. The first barangay elections held under the new constitution was held on March 28, 1989, under Republic Act No. 6679. The last barangay elections were held in October 2013. Barangay elections scheduled in October 2017 were postponed following the signing of Republic Act No. 10952. The postponement has been criticized by election watchdogs and in both the Philippine Congress and Senate. The Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting considers the postponement a move that would only deny the people their rights to choose their leaders. Organization The modern barangay is headed by elected officials, the topmost being the Punong Barangay or the Barangay Chairperson addressed as Kapitan, also known as the Barangay Captain. The Kapitan is aided by the Sangguniang Barangay, barangay Council, whose members, called Barangay Kagawad councilors, are also elected. The council is considered to be a local government unit LGU, similar to the provincial and the municipal government. The officials that make up the council are the Punong Barangay, seven barangay councillors, and the chairman of youth council or Sangguniang Kabatan SK. Thus, there are eight, eight members of the legislative council in a barangay, the council if in session for a new solution or a resolution of a bill votes, and if the councils and the SK are at tie decision, the captain uses his, her vote. This only happens when the SK which is sometimes stopped and continued. In absence of an SK, the council votes for a nominated barrio council president. This president is not like the League of the Barangay Councilors which composes of barangay captains of a municipality. The barangay justice system or Katarungang Pambarangay is composed of members commonly known as Lupin Tagapamayapa justice of the peace. Their function is to conciliate and mediate disputes at the barangay level so as to avoid legal action and relieve the courts of docket congestion. Barangay elections are non-partisan and are typically hotly contested. Barangay captain are elected by first past the post plurality, no runoff voting. Councillors are elected by plurality at large voting with the entire barangay as a single at large district. Each voter can vote up to seven candidates for councillor, with the winners being the seven candidates with the most number of votes. Typically, a ticket usually consists of one candidate for barangay captain and seven candidates for the councillors. Elections for the post of Punong Barangay and Barangay Kagawids are usually held every three years starting from 2007. The barangay is often governed from its seat of local government, the Barangay Hall. A tanid, or barangay police officer, is an unarmed watchman who fulfills policing functions within the barangay. The number of barangay tanids differ from one barangay to another, they help maintain law and order in the neighborhoods throughout the Philippines. Funding for the barangay comes from their share of the Internal Revenue Allotment with a portion of the allotment set aside for the Sangguniang Kabatan. The exact amount of money is determined by a formula combining the barangay's population and land area. Barangays per locality For the total number of barangays per province, see Provinces of the Philippines hashtag list of provinces. See also Association of Barangay Captains Balangay Barangay Health Volunteers List of barangays of Metro Manila List of barangays of Bohol Parak Sitio Bibliography Constantino, Renato, 1975 The Philippines, A Past Revisited Volume 1. ISBN 971-8958-00-2 Manuel Marino, OSA, ed. Conquistas de las Islas Filipinas, 1565 to 1615. Madrid: Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas, 1975. Topic: Notes.
Topic: External links. Katarungang Pambarangay Handbook.